Hi, my name is Melissa Cano and I will be working with Michelle Lara. We will be doing this problem together. I will be doing A through D for the cities of Los Angeles and Rio de Janeiro. And the problem reads as follows. Los Angeles is located at 34.05 degrees north latitude and 118.24 degrees west longitude. And Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, is located at 22.9 degrees south latitude and 43.23 degrees west longitude. We are also assuming that Earth is spherical and has a radius of 4,000 miles. We will start with A, which is finding the spherical coordinates for the location of each city. So that this problem is easier to follow, I will go ahead and do Los Angeles in a blue pen and Rio de Janeiro in a pencil. So let's start. Los Angeles is located at 34.05 degrees north latitude and 118.24 degrees west longitude. We will go ahead and solve, so we we're going to go ahead and do 90 minus 34.05 degrees, which then equals to 55.95 degrees. So for Los Angeles, it's going to go ahead and be 4,000, negative 118.24 degrees and 55.95 degrees. For Rio de Janeiro, it is given that it is located at 22.9 degrees south latitude and 43.23 west longitude. We will go ahead and solve and it will be 90 plus 22.9 degrees, which then equals to 112.9 degrees, making Rio de Janeiro be 4,000, negative 43.22 degrees, and 112.9. Moving on to B, which is finding the rectangular coordinates for the location of each city. Now, in order to do this, we're gonna go ahead and use the spherical coordinates, which are x equals r sine theta. So <clears throat> our givens are that uh, our angle is 55.95 degrees. Okay, so by plugging in, we go get, we, by plugging in to the x equation, we go ahead and get x is equal to 4,000 sine 55 degrees, 55.95 degrees, cosine negative 118.24 degrees, which then equals to 4,000 times point eight two eight five times negative point four seven three two by 
go ahead and solving this, we get that x is equal to negative 1,568.2. Now, let's go ahead and solve for the y equation. For y, it's going to go ahead and be equal to 4,000 sine 55.95 degrees sine negative 118.24 degrees, which by solving then gives us 4,000 times 0.8285 times negative 0 0.8809. By solving that, it gives us y to be equal to negative 2,919.7. Let's go ahead and solve for z. z is equal to 4,000 cosine 55, sorry, I thought I was in frame, 55.95 degrees, which then equals to 4,000 times 0 0.5599 which by multiplying them together gives us a total of z equaling to 2,239.7. And this is for Los Angeles. So these three coordinates we're gonna go ahead and call Los Angeles u equaling to u equals to negative 1,568.2, negative 2,119.7, and 2,239.7. Now we will go ahead and do B for the city of Rio de Janeiro and the spherical coordinates are as follows. Now, our givens are So by plugging into the equation of x, we get that x is equal to 4,000 sine of 112.9 degrees cosine of negative 43.2 degrees. By solving this, we go ahead and get that x is equal to 4,000 times 0.9212 times 0.7287. By solving this, we go ahead and get that x is equal to 2,685.2. Moving on to y. y is equal to 4,000 sine 112. 0.9 sine negative 43.22 degrees. Which, when you go ahead and solve, you get y is equal to 4,000 times 0.292. 1, 2 times negative 0.6848. By going ahead and solving that, we get that 
y is equal to negative 2523.3. By go ahead and doing z, plugging it into the equation, we get that z is equal to 4000 cosine angle of 112.9 degrees. which then just follows as 4,000 times negative 0.3891. By solving that, we get z equal to negative 156.5. So we're going to go ahead and call Rio de Janeiro v, which is going to go ahead and be equal to two thousand six hundred and eighty-five point two negative two thousand five hundred twenty-three point three and negative one thousand five hundred fifty-six point five. Oh. Moving on to C, which is to find the angle and radians between the vectors from the center of Earth to the two cities. In order to do this, we're going to go ahead and use the cross product formula. So, all the givens from part B. We're going to go ahead and plug them in. Once we solve for this, we go ahead and get that we get cosine angle theta equals negative 4,210,930.64 plus 7,362,279.01 minus 3,486,093.05 divided by million. By solving this, we go ahead and get that cosine theta is equal to negative 329,744.68 over 16 million. go ahead and um, solving this we go ahead and get that cosine theta is equal to negative 0 0.0206 we go ahead and solve for the angle negative 
making the angle equal to 91.18 degrees. It did specify to get it in radians, which then equals to 1.5 Moving on to letter D, it's asking us to find the great circle distance S between cities and it's letting us know a hint S is equal to R. So D, S is going to go ahead and equal to 4,000 times 1.5 radian making S equal to be 6,366 miles. Letter E. This brings my part of the presentation to an end. Thank you so much for listening. Michelle will go ahead and do part E, which is doing A through D for the cities of Boston and Honolulu. Hi, my name is Michelle, and I will be demonstrating Part E with the cities of Boston and Honolulu. We were given the latitude and longitude for each of the cities, as well as the radius, assuming that the Earth is a sphere, and we're trying to find the spherical coordinates, rectangular coordinates, the angle between the vectors from the center of the Earth to the two cities, and the great circle distance as between the two cities. So to begin, uh, I will be doing Boston in blue and Honolulu in black. So to begin Boston, what we do is it would be the 90 degrees minus the latitude angle that we were given, which is 42.36 degrees, which should equal to 47.64 degrees. Now with that angle we can find that the spherical coordinates are 4000 because of the radius of the earth the negative 71.06 which is the longitude that we were given and the computed 47.64 degrees for honolulu same thing 90 degrees minus 21.31 degrees which is equal to 68.69 degrees which gives us that the spherical coordinates is the radius of the earth 4000 minus the longitude 157.86 degrees oh, oops. and the 68 0.69 degrees. Now this is part for part A, so part A is done. For part B, we will be using the equations to convert from spherical to rectangular, which is x is equal to radius times sine of the angle times cosine of y. Y is equal to the radius times sine of the angle sine of phi and z is equal to radius equal to the radius times cosine of the angle. Now for for Boston the x coordinate is equal to four thousand times sine of the angle which in this case for Boston the angle would be 47.64 degrees cosine of phi which in this case would be negative 71.06 and then if we solve for the sine and cosine is 4,000 times 0 0.7389 times 
two, four, six, which gives us that the x coordinate is 959.4. Now for the y, same thing, 4,000 because of the radius times sine of the angle 4764 times sine of Five, which is negative 71.06 if we solve so 4000 times 0 0.7389 times negative 0 0.9459 which equals that the y coordinate is negative 2795.7 and lastly for z it would be the radius which is 4000 times the cosine of the angle 47.64 degrees which is equal to 4000 times 0 0.6738 is equal to 2695.1 so the rectangular coordinates would be 959.4 negative 2795.7 and 2695.1 so this is for Boston now moving to Honolulu, for your Honolulu, the radius is equal to 4,000, same as the Boston. The angle would be equal to 68.69, which was computed before, and phi is the negative 157.86. Let's write the equations once again. So the x coordinate is equal to the radius times sine of the angle times cosine of phi. Y is equal to the radius times sine of the angle times sine of phi. And z is equal to the radius times cosine of the angle. Now, computing for the x is equal to the 4,000 times sine of 68.69 degrees times the cosine of the negative 157.86 degrees. This gives us 4,000 times... 0 0.9316 times negative 0 0.9263 where if we solve it gives us that x is equal to negative 3451 times 0.7 now moving to the y component, same thing, 4,000 because of the radius times sine of the angle 68.69 degrees times sine of negative 157.86 degrees, where if we solve for sine and cosine, 4,000 times 0 0.9316 times negative 0 0.3769 so y is equal to negative 1404.4 and lastly the z-axis is equal to the radius which is 4000 times cosine of the angle 68.69 where 
if you compute the cosine of this angle, it would be 4,000 times 0.3634. So the z-axis would be 1,453.7. Now, if we write the rectangular coordinate, it would be negative 3,451. 7, negative 1,404.4 and 1,453.7 and this is the second vector that we will use. Okay, now that we have the coordinates for Honolulu, we can move on to part C which, which says find the angle between the vectors from the center of the earth to the two cities. To do that, we will be using the following equation, which is cosine of the angle is equal to u times v over times. Okay. Now, for u and the vectors u and v, u will be Boston in this case. That would be the, the vector of u, and Honolulu in this case would be the vector v. Now, doing that, we can start by computing u is equal to nine five nine point four and like I said this is from the rectangular coordinate seven five nine squared. Now when you compute this, you'll get that it's actually 4,000. And if you do the same for V, you'll get that V is also 4,000. Now we can multiply U times V. Where it is 59.4 times negative 3,451.7 plus negative 2,795.7 times negative 1,404.4 plus 2,695.1 times 1,453.7 where if we do the multiplication we get that it's equal to 1,000 So we get this, and when we add them together, we get so 
So now when we put all of these together, remember that it's cosine of the angle is equal to this number. divided by 4,000 and 4,000 where if we uh, simplify this we get that cosine of the angle is equal to 0 0.28329 and Inverse cosine which gives you that it is 73.5 degrees but in radians it's equal to 1.28 radians so that's the answer for part C and lastly for part D where it says find the great circle distance between the cities. So they give you they give you the hint S is equal to radius times the angle, which is actually something we already computed. So it would basically be S is equal to the radius, which it was given. So 4,000 times the angle. So 1.28, where S is equal to 5,120 miles. So that would be it for this problem.